Hi guys and welcome to Food Review, Food Review UK. My name is Nate Peterson and today I've got something a little different for you. A company reached out to us uh, by the name of Pine Tree MRE and they basically asked us if we would like to review their product. What is their product? Good question. Uh, basically it's a MRE, Meal Ready to Eat. Uh, I believe these are based on the military rations but this is more uh, catered for and aimed at the civilians out there. Uh, and it's basically a food pack to take on you if you go camping, adventuring, hiking, whatever you may be doing. What you do in your own time is up to you. We at Food Review UK are very inclusive and allow you to do whatever you want. But basically, one of these bad boys uh, you take with you and uh, it's basically got a meal that is ready to eat. It has uh, a variety of foods in it. I'm going to do a little... I was going to say unboxing, but I guess unpacking, unbagging, whatever you wish to call it. There's a variety of main meals that they offer. This is the meatball pasta and tomato sauce. It also comes with a, you potentially, sorry, the other meals that are on offer are chicken tikka masala, steak and vegetables, chili con carne, lamb casserole, chicken and mushroom pasta. So here we go. It's quite a big old pack, quite hefty. Should apologise to the kind people at Pine Tree. I did on, intend on reviewing this much earlier than I am. This is currently the 20th of June. I think they sent it to me sometime in April. It's been two months. I'm a bad, bad little boy. But apologies to them. Life, unfortunately, gets in the way sometimes. And uh, yeah. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to just get it all out. That's what she said. And then I'll show you everything that we've got. Okay. Please check inside the bag, but there's nothing there. Quark, quark. Right, right, here's the main thing. Here's your meatball and pasta. Obviously, this is not gonna win any beauty awards. This is, you know, this is this is all about you, you hardcore people out there doing your hiking and your campings and your tings. Um, so we've got meatballs and pasta. It feels like there's quite a fair old amount in there. Interesting to see what that's like. Uh, so this is then the heater which is interesting because that looks like it's just a small little pack. I, was, I don't know why I was expecting it to be something a little bit more solid, but we shall see what we do with this in, in a second. I'm gonna, once I've unpacked, I'm gonna try the, uh, the meatballs so uh, you will see how that works. Uh, also amongst there, we've got a st strawberry, sorry, going the wrong way, strawberry flavored drink for advanced hydration, gluten-free, sugar-free. We have a eraser bar. Not sure what that is. Feels quite hefty. There's no description of it on the outside. I'm guessing for some reason that that's gonna be Snickerette. It's got the, the little ripples on top that's similar to a Snicker or a Mars bar. We've got a chocolaterie, chocolaterie. It's easy for you to say. Mon bada speculus. Uh, and a second one, another speculus. I wonder if they're different flavours, they're different colours. It's a lesser, isn't there? Doesn't give you a description of the flavour, which is fine, no problem. But you do get a light breakfast, a dessert, and a main course. Uh, we've got some jam. Many, many products in here. Quite a lot going on in here. Coffee, brown sugar. Another brown sugar, matches, tea, salt, pepper, chewing gum, uh, and then we've got a, a fresh wipe and a tissue. Oh, not tissue. Uh, I can't see in there. Oh no, sorry. We've also got a spoon. Although this does describe it as a spork, but that is most definitely a spoon. Um, oh yes, does say chewing gum or candy. Okay, so that's basically what we can get in there. Um, I'm going to now put this bad boy on hold while I work out how to do the heating and then I'll show you a little bit of that being cooked and then a little bit of tasting on the old meatballs and I'm doing this weird boils. I do apologize, I would have liked to have shown you the actual process that got me to this point. 
but I'll very quickly talk you through it. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you. The meal is in there. <clears throat> so basically this pack, you open it up at the top. You place the unopened meal inside. There's a, there's a little packet already in there, uh, which contains various, I would imagine, chemicals that, that, that work with water because you're uh, then invited to add 50 mils of water into the bag. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Bingo, bango, bongo. Whoa, it's definitely gonna explode. I mean, this is mental. I'm gonna die. Um, so, I have no idea what's going on here. This is weird and mental. Um, so this has reacted with the water. As you can see, it's steaming. Um, it's to be left in here for 12 minutes. You fold the bag over so that presumably all of that water just didn't ex escape. Can't see anything escaping out of it, just a little steam out the side. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is now going to be sat in that bag for, I think it said 12 minutes, after which it should be cooked. Uh, touch wood, I don't die from some sort of powerful explosion. Uh, if I don't, then you'll see what I think of the meal shortly. Touchy bye. See you in a minute. Uh, while that's cooking, why waste time? I'll do a couple of little quick reviews of the products that I hadn't intended on doing. I won't do the tea or coffee. It's going to be tea or coffee, I'm sure. Uh, so let's have a quick look at these speculuses. Speculi? Speculus. Speculus. Spicullus Romanus. Spicullus. I don't know, I'm just saying words now. A little bit broken up. Not bad, actually. Tastes very much like your Lotus Biscoff. I'm actually not going to open this one. I suspect that this is exactly the same and just happens to have a different colour. So we'll let, let that one go. So we've got the little racer bar. We've got approximately six minutes until the main course cracks on. This is a hefty bar. Not gonna lie. I'll tell you what though, I'm still buzzing about that thing. That flameless heater is mental. I'm slightly scared of it. Uh, so there's your bar. Like I say, it looks very Marsy slash Snickersy. Which it is. It's a Snickers. Yeah, it's bad man. Not bad. I can definitely taste it's not uh, an official Snickers, and it's a, for want of a better word, lock off. But not bad. We'll give both of them like a three stars. Take a sip of my drink. And uh, I'll be back soon. That bloody sun is in a terrible position. I do apologize. Uh, I'll be back soon with the meatballs. Hi guys, and uh, so this is what's happened. We've uh, got to the end of the 12 minutes. The bag contained, uh, sorry, the bag which contained the meal remained puffed up for the entire time. Uh, I've cut out the boring process of me ripping open the bag, ripping open the packaging to get to hit this point. So this is what you get in your meal replacement. Uh, sorry, not real meal replacement, what am I talking about? Your meal ready to eat. It looks like it's pretty hot. I don't think you could tell, but there is a little bit of steam coming off of there. Um, so it certainly does heat it up sufficiently. Uh, let's go back to my sitting station where I shall review the actual food itself. Hello guys, I've just slightly adjusted my seating position because the sun over there is beaming straight into my face. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. If I sit that end, or light behind me, you guys can't see me. If I sit this end, I can't see you. Um, so, you've seen what it looks like. Another quick shot. Excuse this little bit hanging outside. Let's do that. Uh, so not masses in there, I'll admit. However, that's just because I'm a greedy gut. If I'm the kind of guy that's out there camping and doing these adventurous things that you do, this would be almost too much for me, probably. I don't know. So let's see. Not bad, you know. <clears throat> I'll admit, part of me worried what this would be like. Um, now it's not mind-boggling, mind-boggling? Mind-blowing. Certainly not gonna stand up to your Michelin style restaurants. But considering what it is, considering it is a convenient meal to take on the road with you, really hot. Maybe not really hot, but it's hot enough. Um, the pasta, a little soft, it's a little overdone, shall we say, but that's what you've got to expect from something like this. You know if you can get it al dente, it's fine. The meatballs, 
they're not excessively herby or anything like that, so some might call them bland, but they're fine. They're, they're just generic beef, very much like a, a straightforward burger, a meatball. I'm not going to finish the whole thing. I don't want just eating it away without sort of talking to you more. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so let's talk price point. These are available, I believe, on Amazon. They're available on eBay. I believe you can buy them directly from the company. I looked just before I came on here. £14.99 per pack. So basically what you've seen today here, 15 quid. I have no idea if that's good or bad. I've never done one of these. That could be incredibly cheap. That could be incredibly expensive. I don't know. I've not done the research. If you're into this, you'll know whether that's something you wish to pay. What I would say is, this is essentially one day's meals for somebody going out there on, 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 on hiking, camping, whatever it might be. I keep repeating myself, but you know what I'm talking about. You've got your little breakfast, you've got your, your, your little biscuits, your chocolate bar, some jam, some tea, some coffee, a drink. You've got a meal. You've also got some tech in there. At the end of the day, that heater itself is a smart little little thing. It's not technology, obviously, but it is essentially that, you know, you're, you're paying for the fact that you've got this very convenient heater that will heat your food to a very acceptable temperature. Uh, not too hot, not too cold. So you've got to factor that in. Is it worth the money? I don't know. Would I pay 15 pounds for this? No, but then I'm not the kind of uh, target market. So you tell me. It's not bad. Overall, if I'm gonna review the foods as a whole, I think for the foods, the flavors, the textures, the tastes, all that palaver, the quantity, the, everything like that, because we are a food reviewing channel after all, uh, I would probably give this a soft three. Not nice. It's not mind-blowingly nice. It's not something that you're gonna want to eat just for the sake of this. But for given what it is, it's probably as good as there is in the market. I don't imagine you get many gourmet ones of uh, these sort of things. So it's not bad. But like I say, you're paying for the whole shebang. You're paying for all the other sundry things that are gonna help you when you're out thighed, out thighed, outside thrifts. Um, so let me know. What do you think? Is this something that you would try? Do you guys go out and about? Would this be helpful to you? What are the other flavours interest you? Um, had, in all honesty, while I don't mind uh, meatballs and pasta normally, I think I would have rather tried maybe the chili con carne or the chicken tikka masala. Would have been more up my alley. That said, this is not bad. It's not bad at all. I think the only thing I didn't review was this strawberry drink. It's probably going to be sugar free, something that I probably wouldn't like anyway. So that's all I've got. If this is your first channel, please subscribe, throw us a like, throw us a comment. Be good people, love to you all. As MJ would do. Bye. <laughs>